Well, what do you reckon? I don't know. No risk? You'll be in for your whack? What more could you ask for? I don't know. I'll think about it. Nags Head, Friday? Maybe. At least we can have a drink for old time's sake. <sighs> yeah, sure. See you then. I'm off then. Huh? Bit early, isn't it? It's the first weekend off I've had in God knows how long. Thought you were the dedicated copper. Well, I don't have to kill myself to prove it, do I? You have to appear as if you are. Well, I'm not exactly a fat man of sloth, am I? Golden rule. Don't be deceived by appearances. <laughs> it's all right, then. What? For me to go. Boozing? No, as a matter of fact, I have a, a date with a rather nice young lady. But, of course, if I'm needed, you'll call me. Bye. Are you sure, love? Yes. Well, I mean, you didn't leave it open when you went out or anything? No. There isn't anything missing, is there? No, what have I got that anyone would want? Oh, all right, love, don't worry. I'll get someone round to have a look at it. And I'll have a chat with your neighbours. They might have seen someone. Now, look, Mrs Walton, I know you're upset. But I don't phone up a chief superintendent over this, especially the yard. My boss would crucify me. But Mr Kingdom knows me. He used to work with my husband. Your husband was a copper? Yes. Yeah. More? Uh, no, sir. Actually, they're for Mr Ward, but I can't seem to find him. <laughs> did he know you were going to present him with that? I did mention them, I think, sir. No. Tell me. Would you happen to know if Mr. Ward is courting? Courting, sir? Something that men and women do. Oh, I know that, sir. Well? What, sir? Would you know? I'm not, I'm not one to pry, sir. Not one to pry, and you're a detective. Well, I meant in a colleague's life, sir. Oh. I mean, what Mr. Ward does with women, sir, I mean it. Shall I leave these here, sir? No, you'll leave them on his desk. Yes, sir. Kingdom. I'm sorry, sir, but she said she knew you. And her husband was a policeman, so I thought... Yes, I do now. Is she all right now? Well, she's still a bit upset, sir. Yeah, well, look, give me the address, will you? Yeah. Fine, look, hang on there till I arrive. Give her a cup of tea or something, will you? Uh, tell her I'll be right over. What's the problem then, Jenny? I'm not sure that there is one. I feel so silly now running to you, you know. Yeah, you shouldn't feel that. I'm here to help if I can. Yes, I know. It's just that... Donald? Oh, it's not that he's done anything wrong. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. He's still got that job you got him when he came out. Good. He doesn't take days off or mess around or anything. He's settled down then? Yes. So what's wrong? Do you remember Jimmy Sutton? Sutton, that's the one Donald went down with last time. Yes, I remember him all right, a right villain. What about him? He's out of prison. Yeah, I suppose he would be if he hasn't lost too much remission. Well, he was round seeing Donald the other day. Oh? I saw him leaving the house. I'd been shopping. And? Well, when I asked Donald what he wanted, he acted funny. Funny? Sort of evasive, you know. <laughs> Well, I'm sure he wouldn't even have told me that Sutton had called if, if I hadn't seen him leaving. Well, maybe he just didn't want you to worry, knowing how you feel about men like Sutton. Maybe. But when you've been married to someone for a couple of years... Hmm. Didn't Donald explain Sutton's visit at all, tell you what they talked about? He said he came round to say hello. And you didn't believe him? Well, I wanted to, but... Hmm. Has Sutton been around since? I don't know. Maybe, when I've been out shopping, around the mothers or something. I don't think so. I'm here most of the time. Well, then, perhaps Donald was telling you the truth. 
Look, I don't want him getting mixed up with these no, sort of people No, of course not, again. Jenny, but if Donald is telling you the truth, I don't think you He's should... gone out tonight. <laughs> is that unusual? Yes. Oh, I mean, no, he goes out now and then for a drink with his mates, but never on Fridays. He usually takes me out Fridays. Did he say where he was going? No, and that's why I got worried, why I phoned you. He always tells me where he's going and who with if he goes without me. Well, maybe he just forgot to say. No, he didn't want to tell me. You didn't tell her about this meet, did you? Leave off. Where does she think you are? Out for a drink with some mates from work, that's all. I don't trust birds. You don't like them much either, do you? What's that supposed to mean? A joke. Forget it. I don't like jokes like that. OK, I'm out of order. Forget it. Well, have you thought about it? I thought about it. And? Nothing. I thought about it, that's all. That's not enough, mate. Oh? You owe me a favour, Don. How come? That was a nice tickle we had last time, and I put you in. You got a nice owner. I also got a nice three-stretch. Didn't I get a s six? But that's not a point. It was your firm, your tickle. You had the most form. What to expect? I played down your involvement. OK, thanks. I appreciate it. But you got done bang to rights. It isn't as if you'll be putting your liberty on offer. All I want you to do is ready eye it for me. And when that screen goes up after you've done it, there's a couple of hundred blokes work there. Yeah, and I'm the only one with form. Oh, come off it. How do you know? I've worked there long enough to know if there's any villains about. So what? Let them scream. They couldn't prove it in a million years. That's not the point. Once they suss you for something, there's plenty of aggravation from then on. I, I don't need it. And the dough? I reckon about five grand your way. You don't need that. <laughs> it's a lot of bread. Yeah, it's a lot of bird if I get this. You won't. There's no way. No? no. Who are you grafting with? You don't know them. What if you got a wrong one on the firm and you get nicked? He puts my name up and wallop, I'm in it. I don't work with mugs, you know that. Well, it doesn't look as if it's been forced. No, sir, that's what I concluded. Oh, what else have you concluded, Constable? Nothing, sir. Only it has happened before. What? Well, I rang into the station after I phoned you, sir, and the desk sergeant says that Mrs. Wharton has rung us up on quite a few occasions about, uh, about peeping toms, intruders in there. Have you been round here before to see her? I'm new on this speed, sir. Who's your DI? Inspector Rowan, sir. Well, now, how are you feeling now? I'm all right now, John. Thank you. Sure? Yes. Good. Now then, you say you came home from Bingo and you saw someone at that window? Yes. He was just getting out the window as I came in. I suppose I must have disturbed him before he could do anything. Do you see his face? No. Well, could you tell if he was young or old? Nothing about him that you can remember. I mean, clothes, colour of hair? Sorry, John. Oh, doesn't matter. Perhaps you'll remember something later on when you've had time to think. John, what did he want here? I don't understand. I've got nothing no, that Mary, could possibly... Mary, is it true that you've called the police on other occasions about intruders? You don't believe me, do you? No, I didn't say that. But I need to be sure. But your husband was a pretty good copper. But I expect he made his share of enemies. We all do. But he's been dead over two years. Yes, I know, but he... No. Try not to worry. I'll have a word with the local DI, get him to have the beat man keep a special watch on here. Is that all right? But what if he comes back? Oh, I don't think he will. He probably noticed in the few moments he was here it wouldn't be worth his while. Just don't worry. And don't hesitate to phone me any time about anything. All right? Yeah. Mary, how come you're living here? Well, I couldn't go on living in police quarters after Alfred died. And a widow's pension doesn't go far. No. Do you want another? No, thanks. I uh, think I better be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you like this, Alan, only... Well... You're worried. Yeah. Well, I don't think you need be. Donald's a sensible guy now. He's proved that over the last few years. It's probably nothing. I hope so. 
Want me to have a word? No. I shouldn't have spoken to you, really. If, if you saw him, well, he'd, he'd think I was going behind his back or something, you know. OK. But don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. I'll get Sutton checked out, though. We'll soon know if he's up to anything. I'll see myself out. I'll see you next Friday, then. Better make it Thursday. I usually take Jenny out Fridays. Or if I leave it two weeks on the trot, you know. Sure. Thursday, then. Lift? Uh, no, it ain't far. I'll walk. <laughs> you really are getting a working peck mentality, ain't you? I don't want to be seen pulling up in my street with you in a motor. See you, then. Yeah. So that was your date. You had me worried all over the weekend. I think it's worth a look at. We need a force 20 times this size if we're going to go traipsing round after every villain who's just come out of the nick. Sutton's no ordinary villain. If he starts performing, we'll get to hear about it. After he's performed? Maybe. Look, he's been out a few weeks, goes to see an old mate. What's so unusual about that? It could be significant. I thought your Donald Macy was supposed to be going straight. Well, he is. Well, then. Well, it was Sutton who got him involved last time. Look, if Macy wants to go straight, he will. If not... Oh, you know, it's not as simple as that. They try, they want to, but along comes a character like Sutton and... Well, it's a question of losing face. They don't want to... Don't want to admit their bottle's gone. What? Well, that's what they call it when they're too scared to do villainy anymore, isn't it? That's it. Well, if Macy's bottle's gone, you've got nothing to worry about, have you? Thomas was telling me that you went over to see old Sergeant Walton's widow the other night. Something about a break-in. Yeah, it's sad, really. Oh? Well, lives alone in a bed, sit. Only pleasures bingo twice a week. Makes a habit of ringing up the local police, saying she's spotted intruders, peeping toms, what have you. Has she? I don't know. No evidence to support it, just her word. Her husband was a copper a long time. Maybe living alone like that is just her way of keeping in touch. Anyway, I've told the local beat man to keep an eye on her. Which will have about as much effect as me keeping an eye on Sutton. How much do you reckon it'll be worth? Enough. Safety call. Sort of. Just you, me and Birdie? Yeah. Gonna need more on the firm than that for one of them. Not the way we are going to have it. Oh, yeah, tell me. You cut him a job? We do what we can in our humble way. Keep that up, you'll spoil your image. At least he's still got it. Well, the job, where? In Melville Construction Company. What do they do? Construct things. Mm -hmm. Macy did a course in bookkeeping in the Nick. I know the manager in the accounts department up at Melford's had a word with him. And he gave Macy a job? Yes. Nice man. An ex-con on your recommendation? I was in digs with Jenny Macy's family. They're very good people. And Jenny's as straight as they come. There's hope for you yet. Sounds interesting. You want in? When don't I? Shooters. Of course. When do you reckon? Not sure. I've got to sort it out with the other face yet. Is he sound? I've grafted with him before. He's OK. Right, then. Uh, do you want another one? No. I'll be in touch. Oh, come on, you've got time for a quickie before I go down to the betting shop? Don't do all your dough. I can afford to now, can't I? <laughs> See you, Bertie. Hello, Frank. Freddy. Wasn't that Jimmy Sutton and Butley Crown? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy's uh, up and about again, then. Do you fancy anything for the two o'clock? Whoa, his trade tickle looks good. Uh, get four to one if you're lucky. With a name like that, I can't miss, can I? <laughs> uh, do you fancy a drink, Freddy? Oh, well, um, thanks. Uh, Rose? Well, of course it's interesting, but it hardly warrants a major operation, does it? If I know Sutton, he'll be back bang at it in no time. Well, had dealings with him before, I mean. Yeah, six years ago, when I was out in division. Had a whisper, followed it up for weeks. Bloody hard work, too. Anyway, Sutton was my man. Bank robbery, shotguns, the lot. Nicked him, of course. All I had was circumstantial. Walked out of the dock and laughed at me. Right in front of my superintendent, too. 
Yes, I'd like a second chance at Mr. Sutton. All getting a bit personal, isn't it? The villain. Oh, I'm sorry, Alan. You'll need something a bit more specific than that. Look, I'm not asking for a major operation. I could handle most of it myself. Yeah, like you handled Terry Bowers. Sorry to keep reminding you, but uh, you get my point. Yes. All right. Do what you can. In your spare time, if you have any. Check his movements, those of his associates. See what you can find out from C11, some of your favourite grasses. I'll do that. Yeah, when you've cleared up some of your paperwork. Oh, if you need any help, you can use young Thomas. Thanks. Needs to be taught how to pry. Bakery, Freddy. Is it a joke, Mr. Ward? It's a try. As a comedian, make a good copper. There's a picturesque spot, Freddy. A long way to come. I hope it's worthwhile. I have to be careful. You're big and ugly enough to look after yourself. Not with this little firm, I'm not. Which firm? Jimmy Sutton's. He don't believe in straighteners. Goes in for surgery. Surgery? Amputation with a sawn off shotgun. Yeah. Well, you can always apply for a claim at the Criminal Injuries Board. I wouldn't have a leg to stand on, would I? <laughs> <laughs> nice ducks. <laughs> He's planted a bit of villainy with two geezers. Frank Machin and Bertie Cronin. What exactly? Oh, I don't know. Fascinating. Oh, it's a flag of some sort. Oh, really? No, there's a lot of dough involved. Go on, sure. No, listen, I was having a drink with Machin. And he's usually as stum as they come. You know what I mean? Modest, shy, retiring. Hey? He knows how to keep his mouth shut. Oh, yeah, that's right. But uh, he let a few things slip because he had too much to drink. And, uh, well, of course, I'm a friend of his and he trusts me. You know what I mean? I think they're planning to do a security van. Wages, that's all. Is that all? Well, it's a serious crime. I mean, is that all you know? Well, it's a clue, isn't it? I mean, you're the detective. Thanks, Freddy. Oh, uh, Mr. Ward. Yeah? You're not going to believe this. What? I can be bought. Five quid for that. As an investment? Well, I don't think you'll get that back from the information fund. At least we know now he is up to something. Mm. Is he reliable, this informant of yours? He has been in the past. Yeah, what would we do without them? Work harder. Security van. Be violence, then. Blagging job. Mm, well, at least that's something. What? It's out of character for Donald Macy. I've never known him get mixed up in anything violent before. Always the first time. Has his wife been in touch with you again? No. Oh, well, maybe he's not involved, then. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? I have some information which will interest Sergeant Ward. Mm -hmm. PC Roberts just phoned in, well, about ten minutes ago, to say he'd spotted Sutton and two other men driving down Fulham High Street. You get the car number? Yes, I've checked it out. The car belongs to a Bertram Cronin. I've been under CRO and C11, sir. They're checking him out now. PC Roberts only recognised Sutton, though. But one of the others might be this Cronin. And the other one will be Frank Machin. Must be. You might get that five quid back after all. Mm. Did you get Cronin's address from car registration? Oh, yes, sir. That's his address there. Oh, I don't know him, do you? No, he's new to me, but he'll have form, that's for sure. Look, get back onto CRO. Check again with C11. See if they've got anything on a man called Frank Machin. Frank Machin, right. And we know Sutton's got form. If the other two have as well, get their records up here straight away. That's right. I'll check out this address. Uh, don't forget discretion. 
I'll put on my salesman act for the neighbours. Yeah, as long as you don't get nicked for false representation. Don't worry, I've got friends in the police force. Oh, oh. Would you believe the commissioner? No. Mm, I thought not. Yeah, Kingdom. Right. Yes, I'll come straight over. Now what? Mrs. Walton's killed herself. How did it come to this? I don't know, sir. I used to call in on her most evenings. She seemed all right. It was her bingo night. She must have come home, found this. You check she went to bingo? Not yet, sir. She did say she was going last night. Well, I didn't call back. I had the rest of my beat to do, sir. It was a postman who smelt the gas this morning. This was the letter, sir. Yeah, this has got your name on it. I'm sorry, John, but I didn't want to cause any more fuss, Mary. What was it you said? Just her way of keeping in touch? Well, if there's any consolation, I think she made this mess herself. Huh? Well, I've never known even an amateur burglar to work like this. It's irrelevant, really, isn't it? Could have been prevented. A lot of things could be prevented if we tried hard enough, couldn't they? Pleasant little trio. Yeah. And if Freddie Larch's information is right, it might have been a security van. There's likely to be more involved. Yeah. Usually work four or five handed on this sort of robbery. Mm. Oh, that's odd. What? What was the name of that firm you said Macy was working for now? Melford Construction Company. Yeah, well, according to this, that's the firm Cronin worked for before he went down the last time. It says here he was with them for three months. Steely Rector. <laughs> Very loyal employee. Got nicked for stealing cutting and welding equipment. Not hard to guess what he wanted that for. Mm. Twelve months. He's been out two years then. That means mm. that he was at Melford's before Macy. Coincidence? Could be. Big firm, contract work all over the place. Yeah, contract work. Building sites. A lot of money around. Blokes on those sort of jobs get paid pretty good wages. How do they get paid? Well, through head office, I expect. Yeah. And Macy works at the head office of Melford's. What do you mean, up to something? You, I can tell. Come off it, love. I'm going for a drink, that's all. Where? Nag's head. Who with? A couple of mates from work. Jimmy Sutton, you mean, don't you? Turn it in, Jenny. I haven't seen Jimmy since he was here that day. I don't believe you. What is this? You looking for a row or something? You are up to something. Don't keep saying that. You're acting just like you used to before. Before what? Before you went away. Oh, don't talk so stupid. Ah, oh, all edgy and secretive all the time. Garbage. Just the same when you were up to something. Look, I'm not up to anything. I'm just going out for a few pints with a couple of mates now, be told.
I saw Alan the other day. Alan know. You know. The policeman who used to dig at my mother's. The one who helped you get your job. Oh, yeah. What did he have to say for himself? I rang him up. Told him I wanted to see him. What for? About you. What about me? I was worried. What about me? Well, we helped you before. You know. No, I don't know. And you better explain. You are up to something. What did you say to Ward? I told him Jimmy Sutton had been round to see you. You fool, you bloody great fool. Oh, you're hurting my arm. What else you tell him? Nothing. What else you tell him? My arm. Donald, what have you done? Nothing, I ain't done nothing. Then why are you in this... Tell me what else you said. I told you just that Jimmy Sutton had been round to see you and I was worried in case you got you mixed up in something. What did he say? He told me not to worry. You wouldn't be so silly. Oh, he said he'd check Sutton out or something. Oh, no. Don, what's wrong? Have you any idea what a crank Jimmy Sutton is? Any idea what he's likely to do if he finds out you've been running to the old Bill about him? Have you? Right. Let's sort out what you've learnt so far. Well, nothing really concrete yet, but pretty good reason to believe that Sutton's planning a robbery with Croning and Machin. Yeah. What do we know about them? They've all got four. Sutton and Cronin for violence. None of them appear to be working. Although Cronin apparently has an interest in a used car lot and garage in West Ham. Yeah, that address we got for Cronin was right. The neighbours didn't seem to know much about him. They're private flats. Everyone seems to keep themselves to themselves. Yeah. Probably why he chose to live there. Yeah, probably. One woman did say that she thought there was someone else living there too. Ah, we're pretty sure that's Sutton, sir. Although the address he gave the prison authorities when he left was his mother's. We've been keeping a discreet eye on both addresses, sir, and it looks as if Sutton alternates between the two. Yeah. What about Machen? No luck, I'm afraid, sir. No, I tried to find out from Freddie Larch where he lived, but he says that Machen won't let on, just that he's got a small flat somewhere. He does spend a lot of time in betting offices, though. What does that tell us? He likes to gamble. Very observant. Why well, haven't you stuck a tail on him? Well, I did, but he spotted it first day. He's no fool. I didn't want to keep it on. I didn't want to make him nervous. Once he'll accept as part of the game. After that, he'll know we're onto it. And alert the others. Well, apart from these three, is there anything to suggest there may be others involved? Not yet. Donald! Donald Macy. Has to be. That's pure speculation. Is it? We haven't got the slightest evidence. I've made a few inquiries for myself. Oh? I checked with Melford's. The wages are delivered by Safety Corp. Well, so what? So are the wages of a hundred other firms. Macy works in the accounts department at Melford's. He's not likely to take the day off to rob his own firm. He may not be a very successful thief, but he's not that stupid. Look, Alan, I know you sponsored him, but that he's doesn't mean... I did not sponsor him. All right, it's someone you helped. Don't let it cloud your judgment. It isn't. It's, it's just out of character. I know him. He's not the type to go in for violent crime. It doesn't have to be on the actual robbery. What do you mean? Sutton's a professional. He works from information. Macy's in the ideal position to give it to him. Look, even if it is Melford's wages they're after, it, it could be Cronin that stuck it up. Cronin worked for them for three months only, two years ago. I don't know. But there's all sorts of information that Macy could give to Sutton, which could be very useful indeed. Even if Macy is involved as a conspirator, it's my guess he's a very unwilling one. So what's wrong? Nothing. Except I don't think it'll work. Why? Well, for one thing, it's on your own manor. A million thieves around here, mate. Yeah, but they don't all go on blags like this one. I thought you said he was all right. He is, he is. Just having a bit of bottle trouble, that's all. Been away from it too long, ain't you, mate? I just got this feeling, that's all. Oh, yeah. Now, turn it in, Frank. Don's been very helpful. I don't see what he's worried about. He ain't even performing and he's in for his wake. Look, the old Bill knows you're about. Huh? How do you reckon that? Well, they're bound to, aren't they? I mean, when you get out of the boob, they contact the local police. It's standard procedure. Yeah, I suppose so. This geezer's getting out every day, though. Why should they sort me out? Yeah, what I want to know is how much dough we can expect to get out of this. 32,000 quid, according to the man I spoke to at Melford's. When does Safety Corps deliver? 
Wednesday afternoon, 2.30. Give or take five minutes. Wednesday? Yeah, well, the wages have to be made up early enough for the men out on the sites to get them by Friday. Supposing you're right about Macy's involvement, I still... Kingdom. Yes, yes. I want him. Mrs. Macy, for you. Hello, Jenny. It's about Donald again, Alan. Look, I'm certain now that Jimmy Sutton's getting him involved in something again. Did you bring the drawing with you? Yeah. Let's have it, then. Lovely. He should have been a draftsman. Taking a risk coming here, Jenny, to play the whole thing. Well, I'm sorry, but I said I'd be in. You used to phone and I wasn't here. Well, we'll have to chance it. What time will he be back? Closing time, I should think. Mm. Yeah, this is Chief Superintendent Kingdom. Hello. Superintendent? Yeah, it's all right, Jenny. You can speak in front of him. He wants to help, too, if he can. Look, nice I, little I... flat. Yes, we like it. Um, sit down if you'd like to. Thank you. I'm sorry, but I don't want to get Donald into trouble. Well, what sort of trouble were you anticipating? I don't know. He's been acting funny lately, ever since that Jimmy Sutton came round. Has he been around since the first time? Not that I know of. How do you mean, acting funny? Well, we had an argument this evening. About something in particular? Well, I asked him where he was going and he told me, but he lied. How do you know? I went after him. Where to? The nag's head. And he wasn't there? Yes, he was. <laughs> you see, I accused him of going to see Jimmy Sutton and he said he wasn't, but he was. I saw them. Donald and Sutton? In the pub. Were they by themselves or with someone else? There were two other men with them. You know who they were? No. Did they see you? No, I just looked in and saw them all drinking together and, and left. I, I came straight home and, and phoned Mr Ward. I thought, well, if Jimmy Sutton is getting Donald into trouble, you could talk to him before it's too late. What's the hurry, Don? Stand up another drink. And Jenny's on her own. I don't want to be late. <laughs> of course it's late. No, but I don't want her to start thinking, you know. You haven't mentioned anything about this to her, have you? <laughs> you must be joking. Only we know how silly birds can be, don't we? I'll see you. There's definitely something dodgy about that geezer, Jimmy. Ah, stop worrying. He's given us the SP, ain't he? Yeah. If he puts us in it, he's in it himself, ain't he? Does Donald ever talk about his work? What do you mean? Well, the setup in the accounts department, how the wages are paid, that sort of thing. No, why should he? Do you know something I don't? Are you hiding something from me? Jenny, do you think if we had a chat with Donald that he'd talk to us? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if Sutton is trying to involve him in something and Donald knows exactly what it is, do you think he'd tell us? I don't know. He doesn't like the police. It's not that. He appreciates what Alan did for him. But he doesn't want to inform on his mates. They're not his mates. What people he knows, then? It's not that... You see, I told him I'd been to see Alan and, well, he went mad. He was very angry. Why? Because I mentioned Jimmy Sutton to him. And he said, Donald, that is, he, he said that Sutton, oh, if he found out that, that he's a crank, very violent. Yes, he is, Jenny. That's why we want to know what's going on. But I, but I mean, I didn't know anything was really going on. I, what I wanted was for you to talk to him before the, anything... The thing is this, Jenny. If Donald's already mixed up in something, 
and Mr. Ward approaches him, he might warn the others. But I want you to stop him getting involved in anything. Look, if you won't talk to him, he won't listen to me when he's like this. Jenny, what Mr. Kingdom is trying to say is... What's this, then? Hi, Donald. What do you want? Donald. Who's this? Chief Superintendent Kingdom. Is this your doing? Donald, they know. No. No what? Oh, they're trying to help, really. What do you want about? Look, Jenny, they I They know think... that Sutton's trying to get you into trouble. What have you been telling them, you stupid uh, Donald, bitch? Donald, we'd like you to come with us. What for? A chat. Are you arresting me? No. Then I ain't coming. I know me right. No, stop and think about it, Donald. What for? What about? The consequences if you don't. I ain't done nothing. Look, we know about Sutton and Cronin and Machen, and we know what you're up to with them. <sighs> I don't know what you're on about. You know. And there's still time to do something about it. About what? Donald, please, they're trying to help. Help fit me up, you mean? No. Bastard coppers. He got you a job. If you cooperate now, Donald. Grass, you mean? You can't grass if, as you claim, you don't know anything, can you? Unless, of course, you're frightened of Sutton. I ain't frightened of him. Why should I be? We intend to nick him. You never know. You might get the wrong idea. What's that supposed to mean? Well, let's put it this way. We've a pretty good idea what Sutton's up to and where you fit into it. Now, if you decide to go ahead and you all get nicked, and Sutton gets the idea it's all down to you, well, you know what it's like in the nick, don't you? Nowhere to run, then. On the other hand, if you were to cooperate with us, fill in the missing details, as it were, it's probably not too late to keep you out of it. Sutton's a vicious man, Donald. And you've got Jenny to think about, too, don't forget. I ain't seen Sutton since he called round here that once. Oh, Jenny, come you. on. You were with Sutton and Cronin and Machen tonight. Have you been telling them? I've been following them about for days. We could probably make a conspiracy charge stick on what we've got already. If I tell you anything yes. and he finds he out... He won't. I don't know. It's the wages at Melford's they're after, isn't it? They just wanted some information. Like what? Well, the layout of the wages office, the passage outside and that. Is that where they're going to grab the money in the passage? No. Where then? In the office. The office? Yeah. Well, it's full of people, surely. Well, they reckon they'll get less resistance from them. So? The security men deliver the money and leave. Then, you grab it from the office. Well, it's all sitting there on the desk waiting, isn't it? They're going to be armed. They haven't exactly said, but it's likely, I should think. Donald, will you make a written statement? Oh, I don't know. I don't want anything on paper. It's for your protection. All right, Donald. Sign it there. I don't know. Well, why not? It's a voluntary statement, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. And you refused to make it under caution? I was within my rights, wasn't I? Perfectly. So, now, why not sign? You could still nick me on it. That would be for the Director of Public Prosecutions to decide. Well... But in my opinion, he would decide against prosecution and use this as Queen's evidence. Can you guarantee that? Of course I can't do that, but if I didn't believe it, I wouldn't be letting you go, would I? Go? As soon as you sign the statement. Is that a lot, then? As soon as we've got another couple of things clear. What things? In this statement, you admit complicity, right? I suppose. Now, depending how we choose to interpret this, either it can be used as Queen's evidence, or it could be used against you. But you said I'd be in the clear I admit it. But if you went running to Sutton and told him we were onto him, we might have to think again, mightn't we? I get it. Good. Can I go now? Just one more thing. We'll want to know which week they intend to do this robbery. What about the shooters? They're stashed in the ring around the garage. Don't want them lying around our pads, do we? That's for sure. Hello, Bertie. 
All right? Yeah, I've got a nice one this time, a Jag. I've rung it up and parked it. Petrol? Yeah, topped up. Good. Right, let's go. So, that's how we do it. Sergeant Ward and his team replace the wages clerks, and we've checked with Melford's that they and Safety Corps will function as normal. Do we know if they'll be armed, sir? Uh, we don't know for sure, but we're not taking any chances. So Sergeant Ward and myself will be armed, just in case. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Couldn't we arrest them before they enter the building? Yes. But there'd be little chance of getting a conviction on anything substantial if we did. The only solid evidence we've got so far is that car that we know they've stolen and got stashed away somewhere. These are dangerous criminals. I want them put away for a very long time. Right. Anything else, anyone? All right. Let's get on with it. Our friends have arrived. Repeat. Our friends have arrived and parked. Right. Reception committee is waiting. Well then, it's all happening. Bang on time. Right, we'll give them a minute. We're on the way out, Sarge. Okay. You know what to do? Right. All right, just sit where you are. Oh, the bastard basin shot us! Okay, okay, okay! Oh, okay. Stop our fire! The bastard's getting away! Get after him! What do you mean, got away? Sorry, sir, but there's a dozen ways he could have gone. Well, there shouldn't have been. 
I want every available man in the area immediately. Yeah, slip through, is he? Don't worry, he won't get far. <laughs> you can shut up. We'll get him, don't you worry. Not until he's got that bastard Macy, you won't. Get them out of my sight. He's got a point, you know. What? It's about Sutton going after Macy. He stayed at home today, don't forget. Come on. You do as well, hurry! Don't be like that. You know, was there anything you could have done? He may be lucky. I mean, he won't know Macy's at home. He'll guess after what's happened. Ward or someone. He said he'd send someone round to tell us what happened. Jenny. He's going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs> 